Hey, what's up, Lightbolt Joe here. Today we are going to discuss Predator. It came out July something, 1987. This takes place in 1987 in Central America. Arnold Schwarzenegger plays Dutch. Uh, Carl Weathers is another character in this as well. This is an hour, 46 minutes long. It is an awesome action adventure film. And we don't really get a view of like the Predator as like, it's just one singular predator. Like there's no multiple predators. It's just uh, like six US guys who are on a rescue mission, quote unquote, which they've been duped, but um, against one predator. They take out a village of guerrilla, you know, assassins. But um, yeah, we don't see like the predator's like skin or flesh or anything until he's trying to fix his wound, a uh, gunshot wound in his leg. Uh, about halfway through the film and then when Arnold confronts the predator himself when Arnold when Dutch confronts the predator himself and he takes the mask off and he drops it dramatically and his like lobster face just opens up <sighs> so cool character design is incredible we don't see the predator ship we don't see a xenomorph skull that's predator films later but there's no there's no groundwork of uh, an alien versus predator within this film. This is just showing that the predator is an alpha hunter. He's hunting for sport. He's a trophy hunter. He's not hunting for food. He's literally just taking like spines and skulls of humans as trophies. A horrible gore and like it's a great horror film to be completely honest. This is a great horror film. Like the cadavers hanging in the trees, skinned. Oh, terrifying. I would never, never want that to happen. Uh, especially when you're alive and that's happening crazy so it's pretty cool it's the, the predator sees heat um and he can mimic so like arnold eventually figures out to cover himself in mud to set traps and then it's him versus arnold and then arnold gets him with a trap and then the predator beep boop beep boop on his little self-destruct mechanism on his arm and then arnold runs away but the iconic get to the chopper he says it twice within this film um, everybody knows that line. But then also, and I didn't realize this all of my years of meme and memeology, the meme of a very muscular uh, black man and a very muscular white man's arms, you know, kind of arm wrestling, but not. Um, and it's, it's always portrayed as like two different ideologies come together to agree on one thing, kind of a thing. Like, um, I don't know. What's what's some what's a controversial topic? Uh, peanut butter and no, yes. So jelly and let's say jelly is on one arm and uh, fluff is on another arm, and they're both in agreement that peanut butter is what they both go on, kind of thing. That that kind of thing. it's like a Venn diagram, but of a meme. And I didn't know that that meme comes from this movie, and I feel like an idiot now. I haven't seen this movie in a long time long time this came out in 1987 uh wasn't born yet wasn't even a thought yet i was born in 90 so yeah it's pretty it's pretty interesting when you watch something as a kid and it's you know in your brain but like you don't think of certain things like this is a really cool action film with that horror aspect so uh yeah i'm so glad that this movie started a predator franchise and i'm so glad that alien started an alien franchise and then eventually down the road we'll get AVP, Alien vs. Predator. So, yeah, this takes place in 1987 when it came out. And Alien and Alien 2, which is Aliens, comes way into the future, 21-something, right? So it's a matter of how does the timeline all coexist within this linear plot point. And the more films we watch, the more we'll learn, and the more we'll talk, and the more we'll review. Good to have these kinds of conversations, especially on films that I haven't seen in quite some time. So I'm relearning some things as I go. Uh, what is your opinion on Predator, the 1987 cult classic film Predator? I love it. I hope you do too. Mucho mahalo.